Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new on here, hello, my name is Shade, and on this channel I have a series called Curvy Girl Reviews, which is basically a series where I am testing out activewear and sometimes non-activewear brands to see how inclusive they truly are. I am someone who is typically a size large to extra large, sometimes double XL depending on the quality of the clothing, the tightness of the clothing. And so being in that mid-size range, it's sometimes a little difficult to find activewear and non-activewear brands that suit my body type specifically. So I decided to start this series just so I can test out loads of brands and hopefully be as helpful as possible to you guys as well. For today's video, we are going to be testing out Lululemon, which is an extremely popular activewear brand. It's very well known, and they're also very well known for being on the higher end. If you don't know, there are the Lululemon Aligns, which are all over social media. So many people talk about them, but I do believe they're around $90. So hopefully that gives you a little hint as to the type of pricing that Lululemon chooses to go with. So the way that these reviews usually go, I first talk about the marketing and the size inclusivity within the brand, and then I show you guys the items and test them out and tell you how they work on my body type. Before going in and doing this review, I do wanna have a disclaimer. I am a part of the Lululemon Collective, which is an affiliate program. So if you choose to shop through the links in my description box, I do make a small commission from that. But with that being said, I want you guys to know that I am 100% honest whether I'm working with a company or not. I will definitely let you guys know what is working for me and what needs to be improved in my opinion. And so with that being said, let's get into the Curvy Girl review. So I am just on the Lululemon app now so I can show you guys what I see when it comes to the marketing, when it comes to the sizing and everything else. And what I will say is I have seen a huge improvement within Lululemon as a brand when it comes to their advertisements and marketing. Back in the day, if you would have asked if I was going to shop from Lululemon, I probably would have told you no because I would have assumed that they didn't make anything for my body type and for my sizing. But nowadays, I feel like they have made a huge improvement, especially when it comes to the marketing. Right away, you're able to see women of various shapes and sizes on their app and I have had advertisements pop up on YouTube and every time a Lululemon advertisement comes up, I'm seeing a different person with a different body type rather than them just sticking with extra small to medium. So when I first look at the sizing on the Lululemon 25 inch inseam pant, I'm able to see that they have sizes from zero to a size 20. And then if you click on the size guide to get more information, just measurement wise, you're able to see that when it comes to a two, it's categorized as a double extra small. And then when you go to a size 14, it's categorized as a double extra large. So you can see that they have a very nice size range. This is probably one of the best that I've seen. I would compare it to Girlfriend Collective, which I did a review on them before, and I'll have that in the description box below. And then when it comes to sizing for sports bras, what I've noticed as well is when it is a light to medium support they will do the numeric sizing so two four six so on and so forth but when it's a high support you're able to select a cup size so here for the air support bra which is a high support c through triple d cup sports bra you're able to choose from a 32 d 32 double d and then it goes all the way to a 40 d what i also really love with lululemon is that they do tell you which cup sizes are going to be ideal for which sports bras. I hope that made sense. So for the air support bra, it tells you C through triple D cups. So if you're an A cup, it probably wouldn't work well for you. And also they don't offer the sizing for that anyways. We go to something that's really popular, which is the energy bra. It tells you that it's medium support and that it's for B to D cups. What I've really been enjoying when looking through the Lululemon app and the website in general is just that it's so specific. It doesn't make the experience as a consumer overwhelming because you're able to filter. Like if I wanted to look at a sports bra, I would filter it. I would say that I want something medium to high support. It even goes into activity level. So I would say I'm doing it for working out and then you could do color. And then for sizing, I could tell them I want a size 12 or that I want a size 38D. And so it filters it all the way down to 21 items to make it super easy for me as the consumer to know, okay, these are the bras that are probably going to work best for me, my activity level, my bust size, 
and everything else so it's been a very pleasant experience shopping through lululemon this is actually i think my second time shopping <laughs> through lululemon with this haul um other than that i have had some items gifted to me last year or the beginning of this year then before that i was purchasing through reseller apps so like mercari and poshmark so i had never really gone to the lululemon website or a lululemon store to purchase item still very new to me but having all of these specific questions that i can answer has made it very very easy for me as a consumer as i've said time and time again when it comes to overall inclusivity i'm very happy and very pleased with the way that lululemon is going about it i feel like there has been huge improvements because before when looking at their advertisements or whenever someone would talk about lululemon i automatically assumed oh that's a brand that i could never go to their clothing would never work for me but now that i have learned more about lululemon i've seen the changes in their marketing i've seen how vast their size range is it just makes it feel like it's a brand for so many different body types and not just one particular one. So with that being said, let's get into the haul and I will show you guys all of the different items that I purchased. Some of the items I have had before and so I am a little bit familiar with them, but a lot of the items are fairly new to me and so it will be a first time experience for both of us. First item I'm going to be talking about are the Wonder Train shorts. I'm talking about this item first just because it's an item that I'm very familiar with. I've had the Wonder Train leggings i've had the wonder train shorts in the four inch inseam and now i've just added the wonder train shorts in the eight inch inseam to my collection i got two colorways this first one is teal lagoon i'm not sure if the lighting will make it show up weird but this is an eight inch inseam they offer four inch six inch and eight inch inseam which i love just because it gives you so many options especially if you are on the shorter side or taller side. For me, I'm not the biggest fan of four inch inseams, so six inch and eight inch just work better for my thicker thighs. I also have this colorway called Spiced Chai. I feel like this is just so beautiful. Now these shorts are $58, and as I said before, they come in three different inseam lengths. So I have the eight inch inseam, and it's not because it's my like all-time preferred one. I definitely like the six inch inseam a little bit better, just how it sits on me. But something that Lululemon does is not all colorways are offered in every single inseam length. So these two colorways were only offered in the 8 inch inseam. I wasn't able to find it in the 6 inch inseam, which it's not the biggest deal in the world to me, but that is something to keep in mind. Now I got these in a size 12. I'm typically a size 12 in all Lululemon. If I do make a sizing change, I'll definitely let you guys know. And I always have the details of the clothing items in the description box as well. And I also have my overall sizing, my measurements, my height, and all the other details. In the description box too just in case you need that to understand your sizing and what to go to for the various brands when it comes to the details of the wonder trains this is made for training for working out the reason i don't like the lululemon lines i know they're super popular it's just because a they have super low compression and i'm someone that likes to feel a little bit support especially in the lower belly area which is where i carry a lot of weight but also it's not made for the type of workouts that i do it's made specifically for yoga for low impact and i'm someone who does traditional weightlifting but i also do a lot of hit a lot of high intensity and so it just wouldn't make sense for me to purchase the aligns but the wonder trains are very comparable to them when it comes to the details of them it's just they're made for higher intensity training and i absolutely love the wonder trains i have a couple pairs of leggings in them and i just love adding more colorways to my collection because they're just great staples to have when it comes to the details it does have a front seam i'm pretty sure all lululemon leggings have a front seam i've never gotten a camel toe before i also don't wear underwear with my leggings so i don't know if that helps that situation at all but there have been situations where with other brands even if they don't have a front seam i'll get a camel toe for whatever reason with lululemon leggings and shorts i just don't have that issue so they do have an adjustable drawstring cord right here on the inside of the legging i really like that detail just because i'm kind of in between sizes of a 10 and 12 large and extra large 
I really enjoy the 12s. I don't mind that the waistband slides a little bit on me. It doesn't slide too much where I feel like it's rolling down and I would need to size down. There's just the littlest bit of movement. So I really like how they have this adjustable cord right here in the front. So if I want it to be more secure, more snug, I'm able to pull it and it tightens it and it doesn't move. When it comes to squat proofness, these have been 100% squat proof for me, even with the lighter colors. Again, I don't wear underwear, so I typically don't have that issue. It is a thicker fabric and all of the colors are super opaque, so I couldn't imagine them having an issue with squat proofness. When it comes to sweat proofness, I sweat a lot. It's a bit of an issue for me. And so no legging, no short, no bottom has been 100% sweat proof for me. But I will say that with the Everlux fabric, it wicks away sweat super quickly. The only thing I don't love with the Wonder Trains is that it has a hidden pocket in the front. It's on the front on the left hand side, really, really small. You could probably fit like your keys or a card in there if you'd really like. I've never needed to use these hidden pockets, but maybe some people do. I remember when I put on the Teal Lagoon ones the other day, I didn't realize that it had that hidden pocket. And so I put it on and then I was like, what is that? Like, what is that seam? What goes there? And I noticed that it was a hidden pocket. So it's not my favorite detail of the shorts. I don't use it and it just makes the waistband a little bit clunky in that area. But if you're someone who does like the hidden pockets, if they are very useful to you, the Wonder Trains do have them. It's just not my favorite thing specifically because I don't use them. Oh, so the next item I'm going to be talking about is a sports bra that I have never tried before. The only sports bras that I have tried from Lululemon are the Invigorates and the Up to Trains. I love the Up to Trains. I have so many colorways in that one. The Invigorates were not my favorite, but I do feel like if I sized up, it would have had a better fit on me. It just wasn't my preferred sports bra. But this one that I have here is the Energy Longline Sports Bra. I have not worn it yet during a workout. I ended up getting two different sizes of it. So this is in the colorway Icing Blue. I've just tried it on. I have not used it in a workout just yet. So initially, I ended up getting two Energy Longline Sports Bras one in a size 12, one in a size 14, just because the way in the shape of the sports bra, I wasn't sure if I needed to size up in it. But then when I tried it on, I noticed that the 14s were having a little bit of gaping in this area and it just wasn't the fit that I was looking for. I returned those and I kept the size 12 ones. I absolutely love this color. I think it's a gorgeous baby blue and I love the strappy back detail that it has, how it crisscrosses. I preferred the long line just because I have a little bit of insecurity with my back fat and just how it looks and everything so I do like having a long line so I can ensure that there's a bit more coverage back there. When it comes to the details of this sports bra, it's a medium support sports bra and it's for cup sizes B through D and when describing it they said that it's one of the most versatile sports bras that they have so I'm assuming that it would work well for my workouts but this was also $58 and it's made out of the Luxstream fabric so it's supposed to be breathable and sweat wicking and that is what I definitely look for because I've noticed that I sweat a lot in my back. So it's really nice to have more of an open back and also just have more of a sweat wicking, breathable material rather than just building up the sweat. When it comes to how it fits, because I have tried it on, I really like how the size 12 fits for me. I think I'm realizing that I'm just a size 12 in pretty much everything Lululemon as I try all of these items out. Felt like it had a good amount of movement to it. It wasn't too stiff. It wasn't just like sucking me in and making me feel super squished. They do come with removable cup pads. I prefer to take them out. I just don't like the look or the feel of them. But if you do like them, that is an option for you and they do have them. All right, the next item that I have comes with a very interesting story, but I'm just gonna show you it right away. This is the Free To Be Serene sports bra. I'm making this look so unappealing. This is the Free To Be Serene sports bra and this is in the colorway Sonic Pink. I got this in a size 12. When I was with my friend we ended up doing a walk together and went to this park and then I told her that I needed to go to Lululemon to return the energy bra that was in a size 14. The one that we went to was not one that I was familiar with at all. It was in a different area. It was actually in a different state and it was called a pop-up. So I'm pretty sure it was a seasonal Lululemon. They didn't have a lot of items. They didn't have a lot of colorways. They had a ton of like black and white sports bras, but they didn't have a lot of colors. This was the only sonic pink color that they had, but also one of the only 
colors that they had other than black and white. So I went to return my item and I was looking for the energy long lines and I just noticed that they only had black, they had white. But then this automatically stuck out to me because I'm a big pink fan but I wanted to see what type of support this sports bra offered just because it looked like a lighter support sports bra. I went to one of the Lululemon educators, which I believe is what the employees are called, and I asked her, oh, do you know what kind of support this bra offers? She told me that it was medium support, almost high support in her opinion, and when she said that, I was definitely questioning it. For some reason, I decided to believe her. I think it's because it was pink. And so I ended up purchasing it. And then right when I got home, I went to see the level of support it offers. And it's a light support sports bra and it's specifically made for yoga. I should have checked the app before purchasing it. I should have. I can only blame myself in this situation because yes, of course, she should have known the type of support it offers, but also I could have double checked it with the app to know if it was going to be a medium, high, or light support sports bra. I'm too lazy to go to another Lululemon, return it, and find something else. So I am going to keep it. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see what I can use it for, if I can use it for at least some of my workouts. But anyways, let's get into the details of the free To Be Serene sports bra. As I said before, it's ideally made for yoga and it is a light support sports bra. This one works for C through D cup sizes and it was $52. Now this colorway specifically is sold out but they do have loads of other colorways if you are interested in the Free To Be Serene sports bra. As I said before, I will have everything linked down below. They are commission links, so I do make a small commission if you do choose to click through and shop through them. Colorway is sold out. They do have a ton of other colorways, and hopefully they will restock this because I think that the Sonic Pink is just so gorgeous, especially for the summertime. I actually just took a picture the other day in these two items and i don't know it was kind of giving me a vibe i thought it was really cute this is also made out of the luxury fabric so it is supposed to be very sweat wicking very breathable have a good amount of stretch to it and just be overall super comfortable i will say that the small band in the back it's not my favorite thing as i said before i'm a little bit insecure when it comes to my back fat I'm trying to really work through that insecurity, so I do want to include more sports bras that are going to be like this. I do have a couple already. Just because it's something I really want to work through, I don't want to feel held back by that in any way. I do want to be comfortable wearing open back or, you know, thin strap sports bras and not feel like I'm not able to. But if it is something that's also an insecurity for you, I do just want to say keep in mind that this one has a thinner strap in the back and not a lot of coverage. I would say that the Energy long line definitely has more coverage than the Free To Be Serene. Now, the last item that I have here is the Swiftly Tech Racerback Tank 2.0 Race Length Tank Top. I got this off of the We Made Too Much section and basically that's just their sale section that they update every Thursday morning Eastern Standard Time. I believe. So this one is also in the colorway Teal Lagoon. So we could have ugh, a little matching moment. I got this in a size 14, which is bigger for me. So it, it's not as fitted as it should be. I do this thing where I size up in my t-shirts, in my tank tops, and it always ends up looking too big on me. But I was thinking because it's a race length, which means it's just slightly more cropped than the regular full length. I thought that it would be fine and it is fine but I think next time I'll definitely do a size 12 and, and stop sizing up. There's really no need for me to. Now originally this is $58 but I got it for $39 and it was final sale so I cannot return it. This colorway because it was on the We Made Too Much it actually is sold out in a lot of sizes so the link I'll have down below is going to be for the Swiftly Techs that are not in the We Made Too Much section. It's just the regular full price of them just because there are a lot more sizes available for that instead. So this is supposed to have a slim fit and as I said before it is the race length which just means it's slightly more cropped than the regular length and the reason I want to start having more Lululemon tops or at least training tops in my collection is just because they have this odor controlling uh, material I believe. Silver scent technology powered by X-Static inhibits the growth of odor causing bacteria on the fabric. Something I've noticed because typically I'll just go to like Plato's Closet or just a secondhand store for athletic tops just because I don't feel like paying 
a certain amount of price on them but what i've noticed is because i have a small collection of activewear tops and i keep on using them every single week i've noticed that because i sweat so much there tends to be a smell to them if i've worn them so many times um so i want to test this out and see if it's actually true to its word and just see like how it works for me and if i find that it's a lot better since i do sweat so much and because i do train five times a week every single week um so i will definitely keep you guys updated when it comes to the fit i do really like it i just think that i will stick to my regular size just because um there are certain parts that i feel like are oversized in a weird way on me but that's just because i chose to size up anyways all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this curvy girl review was helpful to you something i want to start doing is having monthly lululemon hauls just so i can show you guys new items or new colorways test new products out i just want to see how the products work and i really do enjoy these lululemon products or at least the ones that i've worn before and i'm just very excited to try out this brand since it still is very new to me so if doing monthly lululemon hauls is something that's interesting to you just let me know down below give me a thumbs up do the things that you do on youtube i love you all so so much i hope you enjoyed this video and as always stay thriving love you bye guys